Hey guys, this is Sam here with South Hills Lincoln. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus. I cannot wait. I have so much to go over in this video. To start, I do want to say that maybe you guys have checked out other videos about this vehicle and everything about it. I don't know what those videos are going over, but this one is not going to go over all those crazy exterior changes that they're making. I want to go over some more specifics as far as features, trim levels, and I'm going to go over what all that is in just a sec. But we are now able to take orders for these. If you're interested in placing an order for a 2024 Lincoln Nautilus, give us a call at 724-941-1600 and always, always ask for Sam. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the different trim levels of this vehicle, powertrains, engines, colors, the black label themes, other whatever it is, ex exterior packages and interior features and changes, new interior features, driver assistance and safety features, functional features and uh, trials, subscriptions, what trim levels and how long each trial is. I do not have information about the exact pricing, but I'm going to go over all of this stuff now. Okay, so for starters, uh, for the 2023 Lincoln Nautilus, there are three trim levels. There's the standard, the reserve, and the black label. They're getting rid of the standard and they're replacing it with a previous trim level from other years called Re Premier. They're bringing that back. What are some of the differences with these trim levels? A lot of these vehicles, they have different equipment collections where the trim almost has more than one level. The Corsair now has Corsair 1, 2, and 3. The Nautilus is joining that bandwagon. They are both dropping the base equipment collections. This vehicle will literally across every trim level not come anymore in front wheel drive. Every single 2024 Lincoln Nautilus is going to have all wheel drive. For years, the Nautilus was in 18 to 21 inch wheels. They actually bumped that up. And I think that has to do with the vehicle being a couple inches taller, wider, and longer. They bumped that up an inch. So now the wheel options are going to be from 19 to 22 inch. Now let's talk engines. For a while, there were two engines. There was a 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder, and there was a 2.7 liter twin turbocharged six cylinder. The four cylinder engine had 250 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. And the six cylinder had 335 horsepower and 380 pound feet of torque. That thing zipped. <laughs> it seriously did. Both engines were very, very impressive engines. And Lincoln has had, uh, since the MKX before the Nautilus, they had that six cylinder engine and it was, it was phenomenal. We've had tremendous success with it, but they're dropping that specific engine. They're dropping the upgraded engine and they're replacing it with a hybrid engine, not plug-in, not like people are used to seeing on the Corsair or the Aviator, but it's just straight up hybrid engine. It's a 100 kilowatt motor and it has 310 horsepower. All right, Sam, I get what you're saying about all this stuff with like the engines and the trim levels and the, the packages and the equipment collections, but what about the colors? All right, let's talk colors, okay? Now I don't control the colors. I'm just a dumb salesperson. That stuff is above my pay grade. I just sell, study, and make videos about these vehicles. But it seems to me like Lincoln did a very, very, very aggressive overhaul of these colors, okay? Here are the colors that they dropped for the Nautilus. Pristine white, flight blue, asher gray, gilded green, jewel sandstone, and burgundy velvet. What are they adding? Because Sam, you're, you're not, you're not going to get me to buy a Nautilus if I'm, if I'm losing my white here, if I'm losing my ceramic pearl, if I'm losing my jewel sand, I can't do this, okay? Well, they're adding some entirely new colors and they're actually bringing back a couple colors from like 2019 2020 new colors all new colors and some of these are going to be like are going to be like the chroma caviar gray and the ceramic pearl and the gilded green where it looks like a flat color it doesn't look like there's that much shine to it but when, when it's in the sun you can see it and it is so so pretty those are my favorite Lincoln colors. And I hope I'm not the only one saying that because some of those are incredibly popular. I'm usually right with this, but I'm gonna guess that this new color, Blue Panther, is just like that, at least, if not another new color called Lustrous Gray. The Nautilus is also gonna be available in a color called Diamond Red, which is like, it's like a dry, I call it dry blood red. It's like a very dark, aggressive burgundy. The colors they're bringing back are Red Carpet and another one called White Platinum. To be honest, I never really knew the exact difference between White Platinum and Pristine White, but but for people who are not happy about getting rid of the pristine white, white platinum is white. They're both white. They've been, they've done fine over the years. White Lincolns and black Lincolns, to be quite frank, are probably 40% of the Lincolns we sell because they're just so popular in those two colors. Right, up next is the black label interior themes. For those who don't know, black label is the top trim level. What I consider it is a very, 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 very fully loaded and souped up reserve with a label on it and some extra stuff like four year, 50,000 mile, like the premium care maintenance, which covers like oil change changes and tire rotations and stuff like that. But something that makes Black Label special is really just cosmetics and there are specifically interior themes, they call them, that you cannot get on any other trim levels. These two themes for a while were chalet 
which they're keeping by the way. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous theme. And now they're adding a new one called Redwood. That's their new theme for the Black Label. It is so, so pretty. I cannot wait to see it in person. Now this is gonna consist of Harvest Bronze. Lincoln's always been doing this. Venetian leather. It's made from 1% of the world's raw hide. When you touch it, you feel like you're touching a million dollars. Another signature of the Black Label is a suede headliner. A lot of other brands call this Alcantara. It's very, that's also very soft to the touch. It's gonna be a color called Dark Smoked Truffle. And then the applique, that's gonna be a material called Herringbone I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right. Marquetry? Marquetry? I just say marquetry just to be, just to be, you know, simplify things a little bit in your life. There's an exterior, a cosmetic package on the Nautilus called the monochromatic package. For some time, this would give you black wheels and, uh, and it was only on some certain exterior colors. You would get a body color grill, badging, and mirror caps. But what they're doing across the Lincoln lineup right now, and the Nautilus is the next to jump on the bandwagon, this is called the jet package. This started with the Aviator and Lincoln has had tremendous success with it, it's sort of uh, joining that that trend across the automotive industry of just you know chrome delete. This is available on every single trim level. It is so 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 sharp. That thing will touch. You're gonna bleed if that thing will touch you. And then when the blood dries, it'll be like diamond red. <laughs> now the ADAS features for this vehicle. These come standard on every single trim level. Every single pack. The you know the equipment collection are gonna be intelligent adaptive cruise control, a 360 camera. Now there's one interior feature that is the biggest elephant in the room. And I say biggest because it is literally the biggest interior change that they're making. A lot of people complained for years about the Nautilus not having a head-up display, even as an option. The head-up display is that sort of holographic image when you're driving that looks right at you. Boom, in your face technology, robots taking over the world. And it tells you all sorts of stuff about like, you know, how fast you're going, the speed limit, what temperature it is outside. What they're doing instead, they felt, I guess, that it wasn't even enough. So they decided to put a 48 inch screen all across the behind the dash and you can play with that screen to your heart's content but this digital display is going to be controlled by an 11.1 inch touch screen in the middle near the center stack for some time now the nautilus has also had 22 way power adjustable massaging seats as an individual option now they're going to power adjust that up to 24. now what's really really nice is that these are actually coming by default with the black label that was an individual option on the black label for a while. And this also comes by default with the Reserve 3 equipment collection. And what else is really, really sick is that all of them are gonna come with heated and ventilated front seats. If you get a, if you get a Premier, I gotta get out of the habit of saying standard. <laughs> it's gonna come with cooled front seats, not just heated. Another feature that I forgot to go over is actually called the Digital Scent. This is I've, the first vehicle I've ever heard of in my life that actually has like, it's like a, an aroma or diffuser or some sort of like an ambiance scent that I don't know if it, it sprays or it's something that like that makes the vehicle just smell incredibly nice but the vehicle comes with this it doesn't come with a trial or anything like that it's like it's like you know your lavender soap vanilla lavender trials expire <laughs> these scents come on the premier 2 equipment collection the reserve 2 and 3 equipment collections and the black label black label <laughs> and these are called violet cashmere there are three of them mystic forest and ozonic azure I hope I pronounced that right. You know that Lincoln's getting bougie when there's stuff that I can't even pronounce. Marquetry, Marquetry, I, I don't know. Now the functional features and options, I'm going to go over these shortly with the subscriptions and the trial lengths for the trim levels are 5G connectivity. Now it's in cars. <laughs> it can connect up to 10 different devices. I don't know why exactly someone would want to do this because the vehicle has five seats. I guess they're just assuming that everyone has two devices or something. I don't know. The other ones are Google Maps, Google Assistant, and Google Play. And this was not listed in the functional, but we'll go over in just a second. Is also a Amazon Alexa. The subscriptions, everything has a trial. It's not something extra like heated seats or navigation, something that people have had in these vehicles for so long that they just can't imagine having a vehicle without it and they can't imagine paying a monthly subscription just to have it. These ones are Blue Cruise, which is the new name for Active Glide, something Lincoln's had for maybe one or two years now, where it's basically like hands-free highway driving. However, on the 23 Corsair and the 24 Nautilus, Lincoln is having is actually having like lane changing assist and stuff like that too. Now this order guide that I took, my, the, my source for all of this didn't say anything about black labels. So I'm gonna guess either it doesn't have a subscription and all of that comes with the vehicle permanently or it has the same trial length as the reserve. The Blue Cruise trial is 90 days long on the Premier and four years long on the reserve. Built-in Amazon Alexa has a three-year trial for both trim levels. The Calm app, the meditation app, if you're just getting so 
antsy like me that you could just use some meditation and relaxation. Both trim levels, they have a one year subscription. And then all that Google stuff, the assistant, the maps, the play, that all comes with a one year trial on both trim levels. What do you guys think of this thing? 2024 Nautilus. What do you guys think of the changes they made on the outside, on the inside, all the different screens, the features and trim levels and the jet package and, and the color, the color change. Don't even get me started on colors. Why do I take, I take colors so much more seriously than I feel like I need to. <laughs> Just like the 23 Corsair, I have no idea how high the demand is going to be for this vehicle. So, I mean, the wait list, they could, they could pile up. They seriously could. If you're interested in placing an order for this vehicle, give us a call at 724-941-1600 and always, always, always ask for Sam. Other than that, I am trying to work with as many people as humanly possible. So I will pay you. That's how badly I want to do this for every person who comes in and buys from me saying you referred them. If they come in and buy and I know you referred them, we will send you a check as a thank you. For people who don't want a brand new Lincoln, we have a very generous pre-owned inventory, most of which is Lincoln certified with an incredible warranty. We have a Ford store I can sell through as well, new and pre-owned. And for anyone who lives far from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we do deliver. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, but thank you so much for watching and have an awesome rest of your day.